everyone knows Grievous, and, well, they know him as Grievous. We know his cough, we know his look, we know how cool he was in the old Clone Wars show compared to uh, whatever that was. But while he is an iconic character from the prequel era, not many people know how he got the way he is. A friend of mine asked, how did Grievous get his cybernetics? So today, I'm going to answer just that. But here's the thing about answering this question. In the new canon, they don't actually say how Grievous got his cybernetics at all. All we are really told is that Grievous suffered some sort of great accident in which he was almost killed and needed to have cybernetics implanted after everything was said and done. However, using our knowledge from the old canon, we can actually get an answer. Now, of course, the reason I'm going to give you is no longer canon, but considering that the Grievous in the Legends of Material plays out almost exactly the same as the current Grievous we know, I'm inclined to say that the Legends reason will most likely be the canon explanation as well. So let me reiterate before I go further, there isn't a definitive answer in the canon material, at least not that I know of, but there is an answer in the pre-Disney non-canon material. So take this answer with a grain of salt because it might turn out to be false one day. So. Grievous' accident happened during the Huck War, an event that happens in both of the old and new canon. To give you a quick rundown, the war was fought between the Kalish, or the Kaliesh, Grievous' people, and the Huck, or the Yamri, who coveted the Kalesh as slaves. Now, in the old canon, the war would be fought into a stalemate until Grievous later returned with the droid army to genocide the Huck and officially end all hostilities. In the new canon, well, they never say how the war concluded, but like with Grievous in general, I assume you can take the broad strokes and the outcome of the conflict as probable canon. But to get back on track, over the course of this Huck War, the Kalish managed to force the Huck off Kali, the homeworld of the Kalish, and bring the war to the many worlds owned by the Huck. At this point in time, Grievous had proven himself as a ruthless warlord who set himself and a group of Kalish across the stars to viciously sack and burn entire Huck planets. Victory for the Kalish was assured until the Huck turned to the Galactic Republic for help. Jedi were sent to aid on the front lines, while massive tariffs and embargoes against the Kalish took effect and sent the war-torn species into a deep poverty. To try and pay for his people's massive accumulating debt, Grievous found himself in the service of the Banking Clan. Now, I am glossing over events, I should say, but all you really need to know is that Grievous became a great enforcer for the Banking Clan that, in fact, he was so great at what he did, the Banking Clan, an ally of the Sith at the time, conspired with Dooku and Sidious to make Grievous a permanent asset of the growing Separatist movement. The plan they came up with to keep Grievous around was to bomb his starship, destroy the body of Grievous, and force him into a new cyborg body, and to add to it all, blame the bombing on the Jedi and the Republic. If you wanted to know why Grievous hated the Republic, more specifically, the Jedi, there's your answer. After their plan succeeded in every possible way, Dooku and the Banking Clan took Grievous to Geonosis, where he shamefully accepted a new droid-like form so he may seek vengeance on the Jedi and the Republic for their cowardly attack. The mind and eyes of Grievous were placed in a duranium alloy body akin to a Krath war droid. His organs were placed into a gut sack, implants were placed in his eyes to sharpen his vision, and against Grievous' wishes, his mind was altered to remove tremendous memories, enhance his rage centers, and tune his equilibrium to match his newfound agility. And thus, at long last, the Grievous we know was born. Fun fact, the cybernetics used for Grievous were actually used again as prototypes in Darth Vader's suit after his defeat on Mustafar, but that's a story for another time. Also again, before I end this video, let me just state one final time that this is not officially confirmed as the canon answer. It's very possible that this could not be the way Grievous gets his cybernetics, but it is the best thing we have to go on, so do as I do and believe it until we see it. If you have any questions, comments or concerns regarding this video, Star Wars, or its lore, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to read each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.